Today's video is sponsored by Jack Spanier Racing. So those of you that don't know, they hooked me up with this shifter a couple weeks ago. And I've been falling in love with it more and more each time I drive it. Those guys actually had something that I was really, really interested in. Let me grab this box. All right, so here's our box, guys. And I want y'all to check these out. Bro, check this out. This is the hood quick release. And I've been wanting these things for pretty much ever since I seen the first ones come out, but I just never got around to buying them. And when I noticed on their website that they actually carry them, then I hit them up. Of course, they were really cool about it. They was like, yeah, we'll get those right out. So huge, huge shout out to Jack Spain Racing. But this is, if you don't know, you've been on the rock, this is the hood quick releases. Now, I've always been one to not mind pulling my hood off. A lot of times when I install my hoods, I don't use but two bolts, one on each side. And it's perfectly stable, the hood isn't going anywhere, it's fine, you latch it down, she's good. But the problem with this Civic is, with the H in it, I have so much spacer going on. So, let me grab y'all a light. So guys, if you look right there, I have not only the regular spacer, but then I actually had to go to uh, Ace Hardware and buy some extended spacers. Now they do make a spacer for the HB, but again, guys, this is a budget channel. So those little extension pieces were only a couple bucks and they work great. But the problem is taking the hood off, like those silver little, the little silver studs you see, they actually are individual. They are not made to anything. So you have to line up the bolt, the spacer, and the little silver spacer all to get one bolt in. So that's the main reason why on nice days like today, I don't really pull the hood off because it's just such a pain in the butt to get it all locked back up and put it back on. So today we're gonna fix that issue with these. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead, get this hood, pull it off, and we'll probably end up, cause we're gonna bolt the hinges to the car first, and then uh, we can bolt this piece to the actual hood. And I'm super excited to see this work. They say after, I wanna say it's 40 degrees, it's locked in anyway, so it won't come out. And then once you get so high, this will actually come out. And uh, that's how you pull the hood out. So let's go ahead and get this lifted up and get the, the old stuff took off and we'll get to installing this new stuff. So guys, it's literally that fucking simple, man. Those things are freaking amazing. So I think what I'm gonna do now is, of course we're gonna go beat on this shit for a little bit. And I'm probably gonna end up heading over to the car wash and trying to clean this bay up a little bit cause it's dusty, man. Like this thing, it's dusty. So I'm gonna see if I can, uh, clean the bay up a little bit, make it look a little bit more presentable since now it's so easy for us to pull the hood off. I know I'm gonna wanna ride with no hood a lot. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead, get everything put up and yeah, we're gonna take this thing out.
this car and sometimes it runs like it'll it'll cut off and then it'll run with the check engine light on like it's on two cylinders and i thought i had pinpoint well i did really kind of sort of pinpoint what that problem was it's actually in the ecu and so when i first put the quick release hood on i actually i was going to drive it and it would not start back up so the fuel pump went prime and it just wouldn't it wouldn't i couldn't get the fuel pump to prime so swapped out the ecu for the one out of the b16 and you know if you're running a chip ecu you can actually uh just switch your chip back and forth between different ecu so you don't have to retune it so i swapped those out and car fired right up and it's running beautifully so apparently that ecu is fried so what scared me is that's the second ecu in this car now it's been over a long time period but still i'm trying to figure out what is making that thing do that am i just getting kind of wore out ecus i definitely need to mount it up off the floorboard i know that's an issue so maybe that's the problem either way uh now I'm looking for another chip OBD1 P28 or P06 modified ECU. But aside from that, I mean the car still seems to run great. I can't believe just the other day on Facebook I saw a video I had put up from two over two years ago of me driving this thing. It was it was good and already and everything. Like it was two years ago now that I was driving. So this thing has definitely been driving for, for over two years and it's just been a great car, man. It's been a really fun car. I can't complain one bit. The only thing I would like is to get uh, closer to 250. If I can hit 250 wheel horsepower and break 200 foot pounds of torque, that's all I want. That is all I want. I love this car, man. I, I, I like it as it is, honestly, because it's, it's such a rowdy, like, it's, it's nothing like the turbo car. This is so rowdy and just, it feels angry, you know? And that's my favorite part, man. It's just like the short gear transition.
good guys what i want you to do is let me know in the comments what you think about the quick release uh stuff like you know they got the hood hinges and they also got the doors that you can put you know you can take the door off real quick um i don't have a straight race car so i don't see a real a need for the door thing right now but uh, i had to have that hood thing but that's so freaking dope like that's gonna save so much time when it's just a nice day and you want to like to steal the, the take the hood right off and ride show that beautiful engine swap you got in your car that's just the best man Back at the house now, boys, and look at how clean this thing gets. Like, bruh, this thing looks pretty freaking good. This thing looks pretty freaking good, man. Dang, I need to start taking care of this a little bit better. I really do, because I forget just how nice it looks. Like, that, I mean, okay yeah this was my first time painting so it is a lot of runs in it and it could have been it's a little bit of dry spray in some areas but it, it could have been done a lot better but guys this thing does not look that bad especially when you clean it like i wish i would have had a way i should have had like the, the strap that you put on your head pause and that way I could have got an up close look, but when I was washing it, man, you could see like when I wipe, it'd be a line of just black that you just wipe off. Glad we got that cleaned up. We got the hinges on it. And man, this thing is looking good. It is looking good. Huge, huge shout out to Jack Spaniel for hooking us up with these quick release hood latches. So excited to uh, be able to use it now when we go to meets. We check the weather, everything looks good, we can pull it off. Or, like when you go to a show or something, which I probably never take this to a show, or to the track, you can just uh, pull the whole hood off and lay it up top out of the way. So, you know, if, you, if you're letting it cool off or something, you can just do that extra mile and get the whole hood off. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. Or like we go somewhere and, you know, to like, uh, car meets and stuff i don't like the other side of my hood just because i never painted it i know a lot of y'all are talking about the red and the door jams and stuff but me personally the thing i hate because see i can shut the door the thing i hate is the the top of my hood is still red and i never i wanted to get around and spraying it black but i just never did so i need to do that but what i like to do is just not have the hood at all so you can just focus on the heart and you know but yeah guys this car is looking freaking great i love this thing man but yeah guys with that being said i'm gonna wrap this video up here if you would like to check out these hood release hinges i will leave the link at the top of the description below also make sure you uh go over to jack spaniel racing instagram page and check their website out they have tons tons of k-series stuff so I am trying to work my way up to a K-Swap, so don't don't keep asking me about it. I know, I really wanna do one. So I'm trying to put all my, get all of my stars aligned, I guess you could say. And once I do that, we'll begin one. But I don't like, my thing is, I don't like a project to take more than a month. So if it's gonna take me longer than a month, that's why I haven't built the motor for the CB7 and all that other stuff, cause I, I can't afford to buy all the stuff I need right now. And so, I'm not even trying to bring that stuff up until we have everything so that it don't take me. Bro, if it take three, four years to build a car, I, I just, I don't know how you guys do that. It can't be me. Like, if I got a shell, it's not going to sit in my yard more than like a month or two before it's going to be running and driving. I can't, I cannot let a car sit in my shop just taking space up that long. I don't know how y'all do it, but anyway, uh, that being said, guys, check Jack Spaniel out. Appreciate you guys for always supporting us. I will catch y'all next time. Remember, respect all bills. Peace out.